By the ballot. Be, be part, part of your future. So what prison did we get out of? Five, three, six, four, seven. Oh, I'll put my on my neck. Hi, my name is Five, six. Why not? Miss, can you just keep an eye on my stuff, please? Yeah. Thank you, because I can't ride home with someone that pinches it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might have to do a bit. Right. Okay, do you want me to take the first two? Yeah, go. Okay, are you ready, guys? Good. Are you ready? Okay. Um, basically, I only heard about your party um, a week ago. What methods are you using to encourage young people to get involved? We're a relatively new party. Unfortunately, we don't get the coverage that um, the other parties get. Um, encouraging youth, we've got a youth section in Gravesend. Um, oh, sorry, can I just go back on that one? Sorry, we've got a youth section in the Medway, um, which is run by Sean Vaughan. He's only 20. He's our um, prospective parliamentary candidate for um, Chatham. And, um, and he's um, getting quite a lot of youngsters on board. Quite interesting because I live there and I still never heard of it. Okay, um, what methods are you using to communicate with young people? Do you think that um, it's fair that I'm, in my 19 years of life I've never actually met my local MP? Well, firstly, today I'm, sp I'm up at the um, Lee City um, Polytechnic School. Um, and yeah, it is wrong. Um, I think really MPs who represent their um, constituents should be seen a lot more and they should be out and about a lot more. And of course, yeah, they do have their surgeries, but it would be nice if you do see a lot of the um, elected members of parliament, i.e. in Dartford and in the surrounding streets, just see them around, quite clearly. Um, what do you believe that you can give Dartford that other MPs can't? Personally, I feel I can offer them a lot of common sense. Um, if, if elected, I would um, want to um, build, uh, get a, um, have a community centre for people, um, needy people, disabled people and blind people and people with disabilities and learning difficulties for some of, for them to go. Um, I want to transform Lowfield Street into um, a bowling alley, uh, sorry, I want to uh, transform Lowfield Street, I want to encourage um, public investment, uh, oh shit, sorry, I've really cocked this up, can we go back on that one, sorry, can you ask me the question again, sorry about that, sorry. Can what do you believe you can give Dartford which other candidates can't? Clearly, I feel I can offer a, a lot more than the other candidates. Firstly, Lowfield Street. Um, it needs a total re makeover. It needs to, needs to be all redeveloped. I wholeheartedly feel that we can encourage um, private money to build a bowling alley, possibly an ice skating rink or even a cinema, and it's something where families can go. Also, at the same time, I would like to encourage um, private money or even have a chat with the council and try and bring in some sort of um, investment into a local centre for the needy, um, people with special needs, blind people, people with wheelchairs, somewhere for them to go. Um, do you think you're a good role model for the younger voters? Yes, I think when I think back to my um, younger days, um, I had a lot of ambitions, um, I always worked, I was very interested in motor racing, I had a lot of hobbies and I think really I would encourage schools um, to try and make the youngsters ambitious and then once you're ambitious and you've got your dreams and it gives you goals in life. Okay, so what measures would you take to help schools to perform to a higher level? Well firstly I think they need to stop rebranding them. Secondly I think we need to cut the quangos and then that will then um, release quite a substantial amount of money for better quality teachers. If you become an MP of Dartford, could you ensure that there would be more apprenticeship schemes for people for all types of qualifications? Yes, I would indeed, absolutely, because what I would do, I would speak to um, local businesses, we do have a few companies in Dartford, and I would encourage them to take on an apprentice, because I feel the youth of today, we need to encourage them to do apprenticeships, clearly, because then they are our future, the youth of today are our future, because then they can then um, become plumbers, hairdressers, barbers, um, electricians, um, computer experts, and also at the same time, where we, we need to get some more money into the um, youth of today, you know, now, for example, if a lady or a guy wants to become a barber or a hairdresser, it's going to cost them £3,000, and people clearly cannot afford this. How do you intend to attract economic wealth to Dartford and ensure jobs are available for those leaving education? Well, well firstly, um, I would like to see the building of, um, there's a, quite a lot of land that I feel we can build industrial estates. And with Dartford only being 
half hour from London on the train, um, and easy access, we've got the M25, we've got the Dartford Tunnel, um, that would be a nice sort of catch, catch for businesses to come to Dartford, and then that will generate a lot of um, employment for local people. Cool. And uh, how can you encourage people to stay off of the streets, or if they are on the streets, how can they say stay, stay safe? Right, well firstly, we need more police on the streets. Um, secondly, um, it would be nice to see youth clubs opening, um, community centres. Um, sadly, a lot of the youngsters today are bored. They clearly haven't got nothing to do. And it would be nice, really, again, for money to be pumped into these schemes to help them. Because the thing is, the council seems to find money to waste on altering road layouts, altering this, altering that. And it would be nice for them to put money into our youth. And I would encourage that wholeheartedly. What benefits do you think that having a devolved English Parliament will have on Darlington? Well, but clearly, um, into England there'd be an extra £49 billion pumped in. And um, for starters, that's obviously a sub substantial amount of money. Oh, sorry, hang on. Yeah, for starters, that, hang on, sorry. <coughs> no, hang on. What benefit do you think having a devolved English Parliament will have on Dartford? Well, clearly, with the extra £49 billion pound being pumped into the English economy, it would then, the youngsters would not have to have any top-up fees, where in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, they get everything's paid for. And, sorry, just, and, oh. Yeah. And again, what I said earlier on, with things like the ice skating rink, possibly a cinema or a bowling alley, um, we'd have more, clearly more money to do these things. Some parties want us to come out of the EU. Do you feel that staying within the Europe, Europe will benefit Dartford? No, I feel it will save us 100 billion plus a year um, being out of the EU. Let's face it, their um, books have never, have never been audited in the 14 years. And I feel the way things are going, I think come what, let's say 2015 onwards, I feel the EU could actually crumble. But you've got now five countries within the EU which are on the verge of going totally skint. Um, Greece is one of them now who is skint. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks very much.